to open file. Select one file or multiple files or press Ctrl A to select all files. Drag them and drop onto the image J taskbar. To split image to monochromatic ones, go to Image, Color, Split Channels. Three images are resulted, red, green and blue. Four hex die images, save only the blue ones. For GFP image, save only the green ones. For phase contrast image, save only the green ones. To save an image, go to File, Save as, TIFF. Always save image in TIFF format to prevent data lost. Enter a new image name. Then, click on Save to save. To merge a hex die and GFP image, go to Image, Color, Merge Channels. A dialog window pops up. Select the file name of hexed image as red and GFP image as green. Select other channels as none. Make sure the Create Composite is selected. And click on OK to apply. The two original images disappear and a two channel image is resulted. The two-channel image may appear not satisfactory in each channel. To balance the color of merged image, go to Image, Adjust, Color Balance. Select Channel 1 to apply to red color. Adjust the maximum and minimum bar for best effect. Repeat the process for green color as well. Click on Apply to apply changes. To apply Gaussian filter, go to Process, Filters, Gaussian Blur. Tick on Preview to view the effect. Enter different values and select the one with the best effect. Click on OK to apply. The image appears smoother. To subtract background, go to Process, Subtract Background. A dialog window pops up. Tick on Preview to view the effect. Try different values for rolling ball radius. and select the one with best effect. Click on OK to apply. The image appears dark. To rescale image intensity, go to Image, Adjust, Brightness and Contrast. Adjust the maximum and minimum bar. Click on Apply to apply effect. Before applying segmentation, duplicate your image using Ctrl Shift D. Go to Image, Adjust, Threshold. Adjust second bar to the right end. Adjust first bar to clearly select individual nuclei. Try to reduce the linkages between neighboring nuclei. Click on Apply to apply. A black and white binary image is resulted. The black has an intensity of 255 and the white 0.
the linkage among neighboring nuclei could be resolved affected by watershed. To apply watershed, go to process, binary, watershed. For a binary image, go to Analyze, Analyze Particles. A dialog window pops up. In the size pixel square, key in 100 to infinity. Tick Exclude on Edges and Add to Manager. And click on OK to analyze particles. Switch to the original image which was duplicated earlier before segmentation. Make sure you switch the image. In the ROI manager, untick and tick again show all. ROI are overlaid on the image. Click on this icon to zoom image. Left click to zoom in and right click to zoom out. Visual inspection to check poor quality ROI. Click on this icon to select for bad ROI. Click on the ROI so that it is selected and changes its color. In ROI Manager, click Delete to remove it. Repeat for other bad ROI. Untick Label to examine the ROI clearly. After remove all the bad ROI, set the measurement. Go to Analyze, Set Measurement. Select Area and Mean Gray Value. And click on OK to apply. To analyze each ROI, click on Measure. A window named Result will pop up. The measurement of each ROI is listed in the result window.